What is a derma roller? How does it work? What are the benefits and medical uses of it? What needle size you should select? How to use a derma roller for hair loss? What are the potential side effects? This video will answer all these questions. Stay tuned. Before we start, please click on the bell notification to receive updates whenever I upload a new video. Now, let's begin. Most probably, you might have heard of microneedling or derma roller and wondered what all this fuss is about. But unlike other skincare and hair treatments, this one deserves a spot on your radar. A derma roller is a simple handled roller device with microneedles. The needles range in length from 0.25 mm to 1.5 mm. You roll the device over the skin to create tiny punctures, which trigger skin repair, and this is leading to the creation of a new collagen. A badly protein made of amino acids, collagen is the part of the cognitive tissue that helps in firmness, strength, suppleness and elasticity in skin. Therefore, the short-term wounding of the skin intends to trigger the production of a protein that will actually, in turn, strengthen the skin to a healthier level than before. The same process of creating wounds in the skin is also taught to regenerate the health of the hair follicles. In other words, after derma rolling, your skin will be more susceptible to the effects of anything that comes into into contact with it, based on the increased exposure to the vital most layer of the skin. Therefore, any and all skin treatments or supplements such as avocado oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil or jojoba oil, minoxidil, could be enhanced in effectiveness if applied after derma rolling. What are the benefits and medical uses of it? Derma roller have a number of uses, but the main ones are for improving pigmentation issue, improving the surface of the skin, and of course, stopping the hair loss. Apart from hair regrowth and baldness treatment, fine lines, acne scars, wrinkles, and hyperpigmentation are all said to be diminished with regular derma rolling. Now, what needle size you should select? Different lengths can have different effects. The longer the length, generally, the more severe is the impact. This is why needling on the longer end of the spectrum is generally performed in hospitals and by professionals, as opposed to done at home in an informal capacity. The different standardized needle length, as well as their intended benefits, are as follows. So, the first one is 0.25 mm derma roller. This one is intended only to increase the absorption of the skincare products. 0.25 mm is the most mild and harmless of the needle length. This is enabled to, it's enabled to stimulate collagen growth. The length is strictly used in order to help skincare products to achieve a more beneficial impact. No bleeding or pain is experienced as a, as a result. 0.5 mm derma roller the second to lowest length of needle, 0.5 derma roller, are used to treat shallow and superficial damage to skin. Still, on the short side, 0.5 mm needles can cause some minimal pain and bleeding and can only trigger minor collagen growth. Now we have 0.75 to 1 mm derma roller. This is an ideal solution for wrinkles, scars, and strange marks. The 0 0.75 to 1 range is when we start to see some serious derma rolling impact. You require a greater recovery time between needle treatment uh, from 4 to 7 days due to the highly invasive nature of the session. Moderate bleeding is not uncommon. 1.5 to 3 mm derma roller Anything in the 1.5 mm range of derma roller or higher represents more than a simple at-home skin remedy. It is a serious skin treatment and would be user need to understand the risk. 1.5 mm treatment are used to treat the most severe scarring, stretch mark and skin ailments. 
This treatment is more for the body than the face due to the intensive redness and bleeding it has been known to cause. How to use a derma roller for hair loss at home? One of the most important thing before derma rolling is to disinfect the device. For this, usually I'm using the 70% alcohol. To start off, apply the micro needling device directly into your scalp and roll it evenly to ensure that you cover the scalp fully. But make sure to do this in section. You can wet your hair if it is too long. This will also help avoiding, um, avoid pulling hairs out from the follicles. Start at the frontal region of your head, just at the hairline, as you advance and work your way towards the back of the head or the occipital region of the scalp. Do this one time up and down, then once going side to side, and then one time going across diagonally. You then have to repeat this process over again. You should be careful to repeat this process back and forth until you have covered all the scalp target areas. I always recommend rolling or stamping each area about 3 to 4 times. This ensures that the scalp is covered adequately and that the hair restoration product is well absorbed. In my case, this is minoxidil. This technique can be practiced at minimum of once per week, but more than twice per week is likely too much. Each time you use the derma roller, disinfect and dry the roller before putting it away. By following this strategy, the derma roller technique will be more effective. You can supplement it by applying the hair restoration product once again and massaging your scalp gently. What are the potential side effects? The derma roller is a safe product to use, but there is a potential risk of complications. Apart from the pain you feel when using larger derma rollers, the side effects are a combined contribution from other hair loss treatments such as topical products. So since the most topical treatments for hair loss are alcohol based, a combination of them and punctures of the scalp may be a prerequisite for skin irritation, dryness and itchiness. These side effects are not observed when the topical treatments for hair loss are not alcohol based, hence the reason why they are highly recommended. Nevertheless, an infection can occur because you are punctured the scalp when using the derma roller, which causes entry points for the germs to enter. This is why it's paramount to disinfect the derma roller before and after each use. After the treatment, you may experience swelling and redness of the treated area, and this may be experienced for a couple of days after treating the scalp. If you are interested to watch my progress in using the derma roller against hair loss, check the derma roller plus minoxidil playlist on this channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.